Hey guys, what is up? It is Bibzuda7 here again, and welcome to another episode of the Hardcore Iron Man Progress series here today. In this video, we've got a couple of pretty sweet clips as I continue working on some things like God Wars Dungeon 1, where we have some access to Zami, and we actually make our first foray into God Wars Dungeon 2 in this episode with some Vindicta. So you guys are going to see that towards the end of the episode where I talk about how it goes on my first trip and uh, we'll see if we manage to get lucky with any drops there during this episode. But um, yeah, the first few clips are going to be some post commentary and then we have some live com for God Wars 2. Uh, so yeah, before without further ado, let's jump right into it. The first clip here uh, is going to be, for some reason I can't get it to play, there we go, sorry about that, but it's going to be a couple of hard caskets here, we just have five of them. I was trying to get some costume skipping tickets in order to do the master clue, that one of the master clues that I had from the opening in the last episode, so I just did five of these to see if I could get it. I was getting a bit discouraged with the elemental impetus because of how many different stats I'd had to already get up, and then I didn't have the emote items for a lot of these master clues, so... Um, you can just see this opening here, not too much really to talk about in it, just, you know, the standard clue stuff, to be honest. Um, and no costume skipping tickets, importantly, so we didn't manage to get one, which is a bit, uh, crappy, but, uh, that kind of means we're still stuck on that master clue, and I don't end up revisiting the clues for a, a little bit, so that is going to be, uh, probably for a different episode. The next clip here is actually me making the Dragon Bane two-handed sword, which I figured I'd make a clip for because you are spending two visages for this, and that is uh, kind of a decent amount of you know stuff to get. I mean, it counts basically as 2.4 mil GP, I believe, um, and this thing takes like 10 years to smith, so I end up skipping it here towards the in a couple of seconds. But I thought this was going to be more significant than it was. Um, I got the second visage, by the way, from Celestial Dragons. And I thought this was going to be a bit more significant because I thought that it would act the same way as Dragonbane Bolts. You know, it goes to assume Dragonbane Sword would be the same as Dragonbane Bolts in terms of its effect, but it is actually not. It does not give you any accuracy bonus. It only gives you a damage bonus. And I'm not sure if that's 25% or 50%, but I think it's one of those. And that kind of sucks because I was hoping it would be good to use a QBD for like 100% accuracy, but it actually ends up not really even being worth making, to be honest. But I do get some Ritual of the Majorat achievement for tuning a Bane sword uh, as a result, which is okay, I guess. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't look any different, but yeah, that is uh, that is what we, we got there from the second Visage. We got the first one from QBD a couple episodes ago, I think. Uh, the next clip here, we are at Zami God Wars Dungeon. I believe I was on a Slayer task here. I've been doing most of my... Uh, Zan or Greater Demon Slayer tasks, doing some trips of Zami with it, because uh, I'm pretty easily able to sustain sustain myself here now with Soul Split, and we actually get pretty lucky right here. We pick up a drop of the Gown of Subjugation, which is actually the legs. So I was pretty hyped to see that because that is basically the main things that we want from here: is the gown and the garb of Subjugation, the top and the legs. So we managed to pick up the legs. I think that's our second drop from here. I believe we've just had that and the Zami Spear so far, so nice to see that one. Uh, I'm not sure the KC on it, but I think it was still pretty low, like below 100, so I was pretty happy to see that. And then later on here in the same trip, as you can see, I still have my uh, Legs of Trials in my inventory because I obviously equipped the gown right away since it is a pretty huge upgrade for my mage setup considering I've been using the hybrid tier 75 armor, which counts as tier 60 armor overall I actually get the ga gown of subjugate or the garb rather of subjugation right there so in the same trip we get the garb and the gown of subjugation it's just crazy beams all over the place right now I got two war priest drops as well which was kind of random but I was super hyped to get that and it was really really lucky as well obviously because there are a lot of drops I mean he has the gloves boots hood ward all those things that he could drop, and there it is, 73 Kirill KC, and we have the gown and the garb of subjugation already, as well as a little Zami Spear in there, so pretty damn lucky to be getting that so early on, and I was super excited to see that, and that's kind of what motivated me to go into God Wars 2 in the next couple of clips, because I got this upgrades to my mage setup. Next up here, I figured I'd make a clip for this, because we are uh, going to be getting an item that 
we definitely need, and I probably should have gotten this quite a long time ago, to be honest, considering I've been doing Slayer for quite a while and occasionally do use melee, and that is going to be the Black Mask here. I actually get it from the Elite Cave Horror, which I don't think they have an improved drop rate, but they do drop more than one drop at once, so I guess it's kind of improved. Um, but yeah, I was pretty happy to get that because it is uh, the second of three pieces we need for the Slayer Helm. The other one we would still need is the Hex Crest. So we'll be hoping to pick that up soon, but I managed to grab that, which, you know, was pretty sweet. Because I kind of wanted to use Melee at QBD on my next Black Dragons task because I had that new sword. So I figured I'd get a Black Mask to make my accuracy and damage a bit more uh, because of that. Now the next couple clips here are going to be some live commentary for my first foray into God Wars Dungeon 2. So enjoy that. Alright guys, so I just wanted to make a little clip here for what I'm about to give an attempt at. We are going to go ahead and try to do Vindicta right now. Uh, the Elemental Impetus Hunt hasn't been going too well because I'm not really able to do all the Master Clues too much because of uh, the high skill requirements and various items you need for the emote ones. So we're going to go ahead and try Vindicta with the Sun Spear. I've heard it's not too bad, so I might be able to do decently here. Um, I went ahead and got some KC, and uh, I've got, you know, pretty much the worst setup ever. Uh, although it's glad to see I've got my subjugation now, so getting that kind of has made me feel like I can maybe give this a try. Also, I do have max reputation here at Vindicta, so I, um, I got all those things from doing 99 mining and smithing. I got a lot of the anima crystals from the um, metamorphic geodes and then I bought the rest from the merchants so I was able to just hand in 10 of them here to give me max rep at Vindicta just to start off with so that's really nice. We have a much better drop chance uh, and obviously the main thing we're looking for here is going to be the dragon rider lance so we're going to give this a shot, try some Vindicta out and I'll see you guys for probably the end of this hour or if I get a drop. Alright guys, so uh, I'm here with my last kill of the hour and uh, I wanted to just give my thoughts on Vindicta with this current gear setup and what I've got going on right now. Uh, so it's not really great. I didn't expect it to be. Um, I might, did I just miss my prayer flick there? I, I don't even know. I was not paying attention for a second but it's um it's it's not that bad but it's definitely not great uh, I'm kind of on the fence if I want to continue doing them or not I believe this is either my 14th or 15th kill and that will be the full hour so obviously like laughable compared to a main or anything but I am in pretty bad gear um, the runic accuracy aura doesn't seem to do too much. I still splash quite a decent amount even with the turmoil and everything going. Um, I did bank twice during the hour so not too bad in terms of supplies. I'm able to you know not need any food during the entire last bit here just by rotating Devo and Debil and Rez. Um, I just stopped caring at this point because he's about to die and down he goes to get some uncut dragon stones. Um, so yeah, it wasn't too bad. I, I'm, I know I could probably do another kill if I had prayer, but I do not have prayer left. So yeah, um, but my session was about to expire anyways. So that is the first hour of Vindicta done on the account and we managed to get in total 15 kills. So. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure if I want to continue doing it at this point. Um, it'll be kind of hard to get a better weapon outside of this, though, unless I get a Chaotic or I get lucky with the Elemental Impetus or maybe, like, super lucky with a, um, whatever those are called, an Attuned Crystal Weapon Seed. Uh, so... Yeah, but it was definitely fun to do some of uh, some of this boss, and I got quite a few magic logs, which are nice for me because I do want to get that 90 fire making, so I don't have to boost it for the elder logs anymore. And also, I um, would like to be using those for my fletching as well. Um, also, I am currently 92 farming. I haven't made a clip for the farming in a while, uh, so I'll probably be making a clip for it pretty soon just to go over my current status on my farm and stuff um, but I'm gonna start making sure I, I'm good about doing 
clips for significant skill level ups in the f future here. Um, I definitely wanted to do one for 90 farming, but I kind of just forgot as it just happened so quickly. Um, and uh, yeah, I could probably go get 99 thieving uh, at some point pretty soon too if I feel like it. But that was Vindicta. We did get uh, 22 of the seals. We also have the first sigil piece. Um, and then obviously you get the dragon bones. I have quite a few of those from QBD as well. Um, currently at 107 QBD kills as I did that whole slayer task there. And um, other than that, the drops aren't too great. A lot of uh, uncut diamonds, which are really bad. Uh, black dragon hide a little bit. And um, But the magic logs and dragon bones are decent. And we also got, we only actually had one stone spirit drop of the phasmatite ones. So I'm not sure why people complain about them so much. Maybe I got lucky to miss them that uh, that far, like that hard. But yeah, um, definitely something I could do here and there. But I'm definitely not going to camp it at this point. Um, although I do have a pretty good drop rate of the lance. I would like to get a little bit more gear upgrades before I go there to camp at all mainly with the weapon if I can do that um, but otherwise we, we will we are able to do it if uh, if the if need be and uh, I might try maniacal there at some point as well although I was getting hit quite a bit as it is either way we're gonna end this clip off um, after I mean I might as well show it since I'm almost there already um, I did just finish my QBD black dragons task today so gonna go grab a new slayer task and probably get back to doing a decent bit of slayer here uh, take a bit of a break from the PVM as we got our subjugation and tested out Vindicta got some Dagonoths, those are fine, don't really feel the need to do Dagonoth Kings uh, currently because I don't have an efficient setup and I already have my D hatchet, no real need to go there right now, but yeah I will see you guys in the next clip in the last clip here you guys we are back at Vindicta because uh, I did give this a go with melee and it was honestly pretty comparable to mage in terms of you know basically everything the damage and the length of the kills and the amount of time I could get uh, or the amount of kills I could get in the hour it wasn't too different um, but we are about to kill it right here I was taking my time to get my health up at the end and unfortunately we pick up a Zerosian essence and that is a new item for our collection log so I figured I'd show it here but it is more common than the other drops but you just hate to see that when it could have been something that you really want to get like a lance or something like that I think I was only on like 30 KC no not even not even 30 probably like 20 or less this is at the beginning of the trip oh okay 26 KC for that so I think it's 1 in 64 at the best drop rate, so I guess lucky to get, but uh, you need, I think, a lot of those to actually even do anything with them, and they're not really <clears throat> that great when you think about what it could have been if I had gotten a bit more lucky. But yeah, that is going to be the end of this episode of the Hardcore Iron Man Progress series, you guys. We are almost caught up to the present day where I am, you know, right now in the account, which is good and bad. I mean, I'm going to have less clips in probably the well I probably have a couple more maybe I have like next week's video squared away and then by then I'll probably have the week following that squared away but after that I mean clips are probably gonna be a little bit longer and you know just more of me discussing my plans and thoughts and what I've been up to rather than straight up progress because I do want to make one of these every week regardless of how much I've actually done in the week that's just kind of the way I want to approach this series I've talked about this in the past I don't really like it when youtubers that I watch who do series stop making videos as frequently because they reach the sort of middle to end game of their account in terms of progress and they don't have as many clips to show like I'm just still gonna make video and talk about the account and my plans and thoughts and stuff just to have the weekly series continue to be weekly I don't know that's just the way I want to do it you can you know like it or dislike it but that's the approach I would like to take with this series um, but yeah other than that guys it was a pretty good episode here we got really lucky at Zami God Wars managed to pick up both the garb and the gown of subjugation pretty sweet and we also made our first uh, attempts at Vindicta in God Wars Dungeon 2 it wasn't that great but it was honestly doable 15 kills an hour is not too good but that wouldn't meet that would pretty much be pretty quick to get a, uh, a lance or you know it would be pretty quick to get one of the drops you want 
if you you know just if I just stuck with it for a while and the normal drops there are quite good as well the magic logs are great I really like to get raw sharks from there for cooking XP and food um, there's just a quite a few decent drops that I can get from the boss itself as well just like the normal drop so I'll likely be continuing to kill him in the next uh, couple of episodes trying to get ourselves one of those good drops and you know on from there we could probably with a lance we could easily do uh, Bandos God Wars dungeon and with Bandos and a you know Bandos armor and a lance I could uh, probably get into doing some racks at least for probably easily with middle path uh, so you know we'll have to wait and see when uh, if I can get lucky at the Vindicta and uh, yeah I'll see you guys in the next episode we will have our normal weekly vlog tomorrow, which will be covering some of the stuff from the land at a time. I'll probably have like three, four, maybe five videos tomorrow just talking about all the various aspects because there are so many things to talk about in that update. So really looking forward to it. Hope you guys are as well, and I will see you guys then. Peace out.